There is great synergy between stem cell therapies and hyperbaric oxygen, and that's what I wanna talk about today. Why should you consider adding hyperbaric to your story if you're considering stem cell therapies? So the concept here is, should you use a stem cell therapy? And if you're gonna use a stem cell therapy, where would hyperbaric fit? And so what are stem cell therapies generally trying to accomplish? They're trying to accomplish a scenario where you're taking a stem cell, which is a naive cell, in other words, a cell that hasn't differentiated yet, and you're trying to add these naive stem cells into an area of damage or injury or dysfunction, hoping that the stem cells will differentiate into the proper tissues and help regenerate an area of healing and improved cell and tissue function. Makes perfect sense and is absolutely a growing field that shows a lot of promise for many, many patients with a whole variety of issues. Are there things you can do to improve the likelihood that the stem cell therapies are gonna be effective? The answer is absolutely yes, and hyperbaric is definitely one of those to consider. Why? Here's the story. Imagine you have, let's use a joint as an example, and you wanna do some stem cell therapies for that joint. The issue is that if you're trying to do stem cell therapy for that joint, I imagine you're either having pain and or degeneration of that joint. So now you have tissue damage, you have inflammation and cellular dysfunction in an area, and then you're going to add a whole bunch of naive stem cells to that joint, hoping that they start to shift the environment and create a healing response. The problem is, is that cells are often responding to the environment that they're living in. In other words, there's already destruction and inflammation in that joint, leading to further inflammation, further destruction, and further dysfunction. And so if we go ahead and add stem cell therapy to that joint, yeah, sure, certainly many of them will try to intervene and create a healing response, but so many of them could be destroyed or start to respond to the fact that you've just put these naive stem cells into an area that's urgently inflamed and dysfunctional. So to think that the cells are going to repair the environment versus the environment of that joint may have influence over those cells, that's a conversation that I think needs to be broadened in the field of regenerative medicine. This is where hyperbaric fits in. Hyperbaric has a way of reducing inflammation. We know that that's not controversial to say or to think. We also know that hyperbaric is very healing and regenerative. So while it reduces inflammation, it improves perfusion, it improves capillary density, it improves mitochondrial function, ATP generation. So basically, you're already reducing the inflammation, let's say, of that joint. You're improving the cellular ATP production of that joint. You're already starting to create a healing response. And hyperbaric also increases your body's own endogenous stem cells. So if you go through a process where you go through at least 20 to 40 hours of hyperbaric, you reduce the inflammation, you upregulate the healing, and you start mobilizing your own stem cells. And in the midst of that, you then do a stem cell therapy that's now adding an entire layer of more stem cells to that joint or area of the body. The likelihood that you've now created an environment that is much more conducive to healing and much more likely that that stem cell therapy is going to take and be even more effective is much, much higher. We are on a mission to make sure that the people looking for this information have access to it. I know that there's a lot of content out there, and I know that it could be very confusing when people are trying to find the answers that they're looking for, and it's really important for me that those people can find these answers. So when you like it, when you subscribe, and when you share these videos, that helps the people looking for this content know that they're getting a trustworthy source and they're getting the information that they're trying to find. So please do that and help us help other people. So a standard protocol that we would use would be somewhere between 20 to 40 hours of hyperbaric. Again, that's gonna start the process of regeneration, inflammation reduction, and stem cell mobilization. We would follow that up with whatever stem cell therapy a person was considering to do. And then within 48 to 72 hours later, we would go through another round of hyperbaric because those stem cells are gonna require a lot of oxygen to start differentiating and becoming healthy tissue. And so we would follow that up with another 20 to 40 hours after the stem cell therapy as a way to nourish those stem cells and continue the healing process over the next few months. This is close to a four to five month process where you're taking certain steps to shift the environment, do your stem cell therapy, and then nourish the tissues long-term 
to create this massive healing response inside the body. Is it possible that you're finding this video or you're coming to this conversation and you've already just done your stem cell therapy? And should you consider doing hyperbaric post? The answer is absolutely yes. It will continue to nourish and stimulate the healing response and keep inflammation low. So there's still a lot of benefit on the post side. But again, stem cell therapies are planned well in advance. And so if you're looking down this road and it's well in advance and you have the time, consider doing this protocol before, preparing the body to heal, start already upregulating all the healing responses and regenerative cell signaling that your body requires, then do your therapy and then nourish them long-term for that broader, healing response. All right, thanks again for your attention. We'll see you next time. Whether you're a chiropractor or a naturopath or an acupuncturist or a DO or even an MD, but you're looking at hyperbarics through this lens, the lens that I'm describing, which is applying hyperbarics for all these off-label conditions, this is the class that teaches that. And right now it's the only class that teaches this type of hyperbarics in this way. And that's an actual certification course. Check out hbotusa.com and uh, right across the, the top, you'll see upcoming events. You can click on that and it'll show you uh, when our next courses are gonna be.